Hi, my name is Bailey with KJI, and here's your news for the week. September 20th is the start of homecoming week. On Monday, there will be free donuts before school, and on Tuesday, it will be movie night. At lunch on Wednesday, it will be outdoor games, and at lunch on Thursday, there will be food trucks and music. And now here's Trey with Fashion for Homecoming Week. Hi, I'm Trey Simmons from KJI News, and I have a special guest for y'all today, Ben Ball. Good to have you here. Hey, it's great to be here. Great to be here, Trey. So, uh, you have anything to tell us for anything in the future? Yeah, actually, homecoming is next week. We'd love to have you guys come out to all of our activities, dress up. Monday, we're doing free donuts in the morning, uh, dreaming in the poppy field. That's PJ Day. Tuesday, we're going to do movie night at 7 o'clock in the activity center, and that's There's No Place Like Choctaw. We're going to dress up in the country theme. Uh, Wednesday, we're doing Which Witch is Witch, which is Twin Day, uh, and we're going to do lunch games out in the courtyard that day, and then Thursday is Ligers, Lions, Tigers, and Bears, oh my. So Safari Day dress up like you're on a safari and we're going to be doing food trucks and music in the courtyard that's food trucks are always my favorite and then Friday we're doing there's a storm coming at the football game versus Booker T Washington at seven o'clock that's Choctaw theme uh, so blew out in the in the student section those food trucks sounds really good uh, before we close this off want to tell the audience something about yourself for those who may be unaware. Of yeah, you. actually, probably one of my big things about student council is my favorite part of being in student council is doing our fundraising, uh, especially when we get to do Gold Rush, and that's really where I like to put a lot of our effort into giving back to our community. Oh, oh. That sounds really nice. This is a great interview, and yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks for taking the time out of your of time today to, to, you know. Black on black shirts and hoodies are for sale in the main office. Shirts are $20, and hoodies are 25 now over to Ben Bryant with Choctaw Band. Hello Choctaw, my name is Ben Bryant and I am here with Mally McLennan, a member of our Choctaw High School Band program. Um, let's not beat around the bush, I'll get started with the questions. What summer programs were you involved with to prepare you for the band season this year? Well, right after school starts at the end of the year, we go right into practice starting in May. And uh, for the first part of summer, we do two days a week and we just go outside, work on marching fundamentals and start learning like visuals and stuff and music for the show that we are uh, performing. And then around like the beginning of August or like the end of July, we have a two week summer camp that starts at about 9 in the morning and ends at about 7 p.m. every single day except for the weekend. So we are pretty busy during the summer working on our show. I can tell. It sounds like you've got your work cut out for you. Um, what is your practice schedule like for the school year? For the school year, we for first hour, we start at 7.30 in the morning, so earlier than the start of class. And then we go to the end of class, 920, and we just work on the show. We learn, you know, um, the actual, like, show, like, where their coordinates are and, like, how they get there. And then we learn visuals, work on music, and every day we progress more and more. And then on Tuesdays, we have another rehearsal that evening after school from, I believe, 5 to 830 and then Tuesday, or sorry, Thursdays, the percussion has their own rehearsal. And then we have Friday game night practices. And then Saturday and Sunday rehearsals, preparing for contests. So we're pretty busy even during the school. Sounds like it. Um, what instrument do you specifically play? Um, I play the saxophone. I play alto and tenor saxophone. But I'm actually a drum major. So during marching band, I don't actually play. But I begin playing after marching band season is over and I'm a saxophone player. I see. What are some of your plans for after high school? After high school, I plan, I believe I want to go to UCO, not sure yet exactly, but I think I want to major in journalism and I still want to stay in music, so maybe minor in music, mm -hmm. um, but I, I like writing and I kind of want to become like a news writer and write articles for the news. That would be really cool. Yeah. Um, I've definitely, being in your English class, I know that you do enjoy writing <laughs> and so I can definitely see you making something out of that. Yeah. Um, whenever you were in middle school, did you ever think that you would be a drum major or expect to find yourself in the position you're in today? Absolutely not. Honestly, <laughs> in middle school, I did not think I was a very good player. And even freshman year, um, freshman year is actually the only year that I actually marched on the field and played during marching main season. Um, I 
did not want to be a drum major at all because I thought that, you know, I wouldn't be able to handle the stress and like everything that they do to make sure the band is organized. But um, our old band director, Cameron Burton, actually pushed me to try out and I ended up getting the drum major position and I've been in it for three years and I love it. It's a very great role that I get to experience that not a lot of people get to. Well, it's good you found your passion. Otherwise, um, doing any activity feels like a chore if your heart's really not in it. Um, to round out the interview, do you guys have any shows or contests coming up? And what do they usually look for, the judges, whenever scoring them? Like, what system do they go off of for a performance? There's so many things that the judges look for. Our first contest is, I believe, on the 25th of September, so next Saturday. This Saturday we have a pre-contest rehearsal starting at 9 a.m. ending at about 8 p.m. So pretty wow. long day. Yeah. Um, at contest, the judge. There's several different judges. There's seven seven total judges. Um, one of the judges looks at like um, the visuals that they do, like the dancing kind of part, the choreography. Another um, judge looks at the actual fundamentals of the marching. You know, are they marching correctly? Are they all in line? Um, then there's a music judge, and then there's judges on the actual um, field while we're marching, looking at specific details. They're making sure that the band is with the drum majors conducting, and that the pit and the drum line are all together. So there's several different things. They're looking at every single thing. I get that. It sounds like it's very tough, but as usual, I know that Chocta High School's band performs really well. So I think it's safe to say that our band program is in pretty good hands. Thank you all for tuning in. Hello, Choctaw. I am now here with the Choctaw High School Band Program's Ty Clifton. Ty, let's just get right into it. What instrument do you play in the program? Outside of being a drum major, I play trumpet for jazz band, one ensemble, and other programs. Uh, I play also in the brass ensemble for trumpet. Quite versatile, it seems. All right, um, what is the role of the drum major exactly? The role of the drum major is mainly to be the face of the band, what the outside people, the audience sees as the representation of the band, and also we conduct the show. So we start the show, we keep the show in the same tempo, and we do our best to help everything fit in together nicely. All right. Well, um, I know that band, and especially the drum major position, is a very like consuming position to have in terms of an extracurricular. It takes up a lot of your time and focus whenever you're at school alongside just your basic academics. And so that's going to be what you're focusing on for a lot of it. What, would you, what are your plans after high school? My plans after high school are to go to UCO or maybe OU. And I still want to pursue my music career, but I also am personally interested in forensics. So UCO is definitely a college I'd want to go to. Nice. Well, it's cool that you're kind of sticking to what you found here as a passion, but of course, you know, um, exploring all of your interests. I feel like it's really good to not limit yourself to one thing, and it's awesome hearing about everyone's like different varying interests outside of just the programs they're involved with at school. Yeah. Um, I know that band has a lot of competitions that they go to. Um, Choctaw High School is very involved in a lot of things in the competitive scene. Um, do you guys have any upcoming competitions? And if so, what are they like? What is the process typically for competing? Yes, uh, Owasso is going to be our first upcoming contest. And there is like where we kind of showcase our show to the whole state of Oklahoma. And the judges are actually from all over the United States. So wow, the, they're there too. And at Owasso, we perform. We also perform at Tulsa Union for the Renegade Review. Then we're gonna also go to Indianapolis for a BOA event, Bands of America. And then we're gonna finish it off with OSSAA at UConn, and then OBA at, they haven't really announced what stadium we're competing at. But yeah, at these contests, it's a very exciting environment um, you can just see all the hard work and dedication that all these other schools have put into their show. And honestly, it's just a very nice, positive, but also a very focused environment. And 
yeah, it's always fun to go to these. And the drive to Indianapolis is going to be like 12 hours long. But oh, wow. I'm sure it's going to be worth it. I'm sure it will yeah. be. It sounds like you guys have got your hands full. Well, um, in that case, what advice would you give to younger students who might want to be a band major? Yeah, uh, I think number one is just shoot your shot. I mean, you're not going to reach your goals at least if you you need to try at least if you want to per, uh, reach your goals. Um, I think you also need to understand that when you're in those type of leadership positions. Come support Choctaw Cheer at Regional September 18th at Chickasha at 5 p.m. Also next Monday there will be a door decorating contest. Now over to Securio Sports. Thanks Bailey. Last Thursday, September 9th, Varsity Fast Pitch Softball lost to Owasso 13-3. The following Friday, football traveled to Dallas, Texas to play Tesu, where they would lose 36-29. This past weekend, on September 11th, Cross Country finished second, where the boys would take first. Yesterday, Varsity Fast Pitch Softball beat Broken Arrow 8-4. Also yesterday, Varsity Volleyball lost three sets to one. Here are the stats. 27-29, 25-15, 23-25, and 20, 23-25 again. Also, come support your team during homecoming next Friday. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Alvin in the Alleys. Uh, today is a special day because it's going to be the last time we're going to have this hunk of garbage right here in the classroom. We're getting this whole big new toy. I'm going to ask uh, Bass to send me pictures of it so we can show you guys. Uh, I'm very excited for it. Uh, I really want to play around with it, uh, but let's go do the episode. All right. It's a brand new week. I have no questions, but I'm going to wing it because that's what I do. Did you just say Alvin in the halls? Gary in the halls was last year. Sorry about that. Uh, are we? Re yeah, we're recording. Hey. I'm going to fire whoever edits it. I'm going to fire him. And I would love to, okay? I've been looking forward to firing him. Mm, funny joke. Well, Chakta, you want to come with me to prom? No, no. No, we're cutting that. I don't want to go to prom. I don't want to waste my time there. Nope. We just walked in here. Listen. We, we, we got to hit up the, the usual people, you know? Where's Isaac? Yes. How did it feel choreographing the fight scene for the upcoming uh, television series, Fighting High? Actually, the title was changed to Combat High, but it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm looking forward for everyone to see a finished project, hopefully posted to the KJI channel. And it was a lot of fun getting to tell people how to get punched in the face. I bet it was really fun punching people in the face, too, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Uh, could you give me a little bit of that action right now for the news? Where is Isaac? Uh, quick question. If I were to peel you, would you bleed? Yeah. Okay. You know, I, I, you know Banana Man. Jeez. Isaac! You came to my table? Where were you? I, I was grabbing lunch. Isaac, I thought I lost oh. you. Oh. Why do you have a flute case? What do you think is in the flute case? A flute. If, am I still in this segment? My hair is already sweaty. So how about that Hawkeye trailer, everybody? As a recording, it just came out yesterday. Uh, I think I'm. I think I'm really excited for it because it takes place at Christmas time. Like, there's just something about taking place at Christmas time that makes it better. That means I can watch it every year during the holiday season. Do you prefer this show or Gary in the Halls? Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I like Gary a whole lot. But I mean, I would give his show by the ten out of ten. Yours probably a nine point five. Cut the footage. Uh, how about that Hawkeye trailer? What Hawkeye trailer? Huh? Hawkeye. What is it? The Avengers haven't... 
Oh, I don't. He's terrible. Did you see the trailer? No, I just watched basketball and football. You yes. are Alvin Podesto is the new yes. Charlie the Yellow Jacket. The what? Perfect. I love it. It was beautiful. Hawkeye trailer. Is that the Bo dude from um, uh, Avengers? Yes. Yeah. I like that guy. I loved it. They're making a show. Have you seen the trailer yet? Yeah, for Disney Plus, right? Yeah. Yeah. He knows what he's talking about, not me. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah. I love you, Alvin. Cool. Thank you. Hi, Alvin. Hello. Hello. Uh, nice head. Thank you. It's my fedora. Thank you. <laughs> Keep this up and you'll be next. Yeah, you will be next. <laughs> uh, how about that Hawkeye trailer? Oh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I liked it. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to watch it. I can't wait to watch it. Uh, it's November 24th, right? I think so. The day before my birthday, actually. Day before your birthday? You were born on the 25th. So your birthday falls on Thanksgiving this year? Yeah, it literally falls on Thanksgiving. KJI News, if you, <coughs> viewers of KJI News, if you do not wish Brendan a happy birthday, I will quit the show. His birthday is on Thanksgiving. Okay? I will end the show. Uh, I was born the day after Christmas. Oh, wow. Which, incidentally, this year is also the day after Christmas. Trey Simmons. How does it feel being Spider-Man? Great. Oh, it's your boy Spider-Man. Today, I'll be jumping off the roof of my house. I got a friend who's in the hospital right now. Really hope she's going to be okay. But until she comes back, well, this one's for you, Hummus.